EvaMarkaWizards.com and eMiniWizard.com <clears throat> wrapping things up on the 25th of September 2019, about 20 minutes after <clears throat> 11. Reminder, traders use risk capital you can afford to lose. We still have the idea that this is the controlling high and that 78 you must be paid by. <clears throat> still think that before we're done, they're gonna try to take that out. But sometimes timing wise, some price wise, risk and reward suggest you make sure that you are paid. <clears throat> and I would think that 78 area is one of those areas to make sure just ahead of that idea. So we've kind of suggested maybe 78 to 82 ish. will be an important idea for resistance. Once we bounce above this, we can obviously swing through and test anything up in here. But for now, we should be paid for sure. Note one, two, three, three little Indians, right? Been a good thrust. I believe that the, bar, the low of this bar in here, very important, and in back here, especially at 62. So that's going to be the key going forward today. Shorts can't take these out. These are the squeeze pivots right there. <clears throat> uh, getting back to what Kyle was talking about earlier, Kyle, he gives so much color and in, in <clears throat> insights um, in this room. Professional trader with resources we don't have <clears throat> available to us. And I just wanted to address that remark that we were talking about earlier, where for, for me, I cannot interpret news and quantify it in terms of a point structure. So for me, it's, it's helpful to know fundamentally those ideas, but I still focus on technicals because that's the only way I know how. Uh, I know what an undercut low is in, in my expectation about that, for example. But for him and the ideas and the business that he's in, it's important to have that information. So all I'm suggesting to our room is we're going to pay attention to anytime he tosses us a bone like that and gives us info. It really helps us to maybe try to, understand the fundamental reasons, but we still need to understand technical and understand our uncle points and our two and three point stop outs or whatever. So uh, I thank him and I don't want anybody to misinterpret what I was saying before. Certainly I welcome anything he, he shares with us, <clears throat> but for me personally, it's hard for me to, you know, trade off of that and say, okay, so that means I'm going to go long or whatever. You know, it's it just wonderful uh, <clears throat> for traders who love shop talk. You know, it's like a guy who loves golf sitting there on the 19th hole talking about the shot he hit on the fifth hole, you know. So thank you very much for that. <clears throat> and as a wrap up, um, I told you last night that I had that, <clears throat> I went to, uh, take my swim my wife is sitting on the edge of the pool and she yells snake and so I said where she showed me I said oh what color and she said I think it's a mock water moccasin so things scoots into the skimmer and she didn't know what to do and said, what do you want to do I said I'll call a call our president he's back in town tell him we got a snake here Got kids that come in, you know, five, six o'clock to swim with their parents. They got a couple other people. I said, I don't want, want to just take off and leave it there. So we did. We called him. He, he said, call a management company. We did. And I'm sitting there reading. I didn't want to leave the pool until my wife put a few signs up, snake in the skimmer, stay out of the pool. And then next thing you know, the snake comes out. <clears throat> so I ran over grabbed the, the net that we used to skim the leaves off. She said, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to catch the thing. She said, no, no, don't, you know, just leave them be. You know, you don't know what you're doing. <clears throat> so meanwhile, you know, <laughs> as a kid, you play around with snakes. 
and you, you don't necessarily want to mess with them. But so I think came out of the skimmer and was swimming around there and I grabbed them right with a net, took them over to the side of the pool on the deck, flipped the net over and trapped them, kept them right in there. <clears throat> and, and a fellow, actually two people came out, pest control. They finally came out about a half hour later. I stayed there just waiting until uh, he got there. And then uh, told him where, where the snake was. And he came out. He's got this little thing. looks like a golf club. And he just, you know, was ready to go pick the thing up. Me, I've got this pole that's about 15 feet long. I'm standing back in Cleveland, step far away from the snake. And he's in there reaching into the bag and looking at what kind it is. I take a picture. And <clears throat> anyways, for me, that my philosophy is use that long handle and, and avoid trouble as much as you can. Works in trading too. It, there's sometimes that you just poke around with a with a snake and they're going to bite you. So moral of that story, avoid trouble. And when you see that snake coming after you, better get out of the way. And that one, well, one ended uh, happily anyways, you know. <laughs> so what can I say? And it turns out, I asked the guy, I said, what, what kind of snake? He, and I said, what are you going to do with them? He said, I'm going to let them go in, in the woods, take them out, let them live a long, happy life. I said, what kind? He said, it's a water moccasin, very poisonous. And we've got little kids, maybe two, three years old, that come down the pool there, you know, after hours with their parents. <clears throat> you know, a bite to, to those kids would be trouble. So sometimes you just got to do the right thing and for my wife, it was yelling snake. <laughs> once, once you and I said to her last night, I said I'm going to be dreaming of snakes overnight. I hate snakes, but get out of the way when they come after you. It's all I can say. And then, okay, try to cage them and put them back in the, into a bag and say, all right, you know, you're not going to bite me. I'm going to going to stay at arm's length. Gentlemen, we've had a very good morning in terms of the range. And I like this type of trading better. I don't know about you, but I like this type of trading better than this type of a trade. This, this is very hard, as I said earlier. Most people say, yeah, I love the volatility, but you don't know when these, these knives start. Uh, this very uncharacteristic move to go this far, 50-point trade. And and so you're always looking for, I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get caught. That snake's going to bite me. And this is much more what we expected today was a consolidation. Be careful of <clears throat> taking out both sides before we're done and still coming back into range. Guys, I hope you had a good session. I'm going to be wrapping things up. I will see you in the um, Slack room. And any comments, welcome. Kyle, thank you so much, you guys. We had a great morning and a lot of interesting stuff we talked about and hoping, hoping that it's helping you guys.